lot farther than you should have. But then you haven't met Frank Horgan either. Your ride's over, Muty. Time to die. Frank Horgan is the Enclave's finest instrument of warfare. Described as a kind of ultra-super mutant in power armor, he's been witnessed laughing off plasma rifle fire and ripping death claws in half with his bare hands. Suffice to say, he's one of the deadliest entities to have ever walked the wasteland. But let's start at the beginning. Frank Horgan was born in the year 2211. Originally, he worked as a Secret Service agent for Enclave President Dick Richardson. At one point, Horrigan, along with several other teams, were sent out into the wasteland in search of slaves for use in excavating the remains of the Mariposa military base. In September of 2236, Enclave scientists unearthed the FEV, and mutations began to occur amongst those who came into contact with it. This included Horrigan, who was rushed back to the Enclave's HQ for further research. Sometime between 2236 and 2238, Frank Horgan underwent his transformation into a super mutant. During this period, he was kept under heavy sedation and operated on by Enclave scientists and technicians under the directions of Dr. Charles Curling. Following testing in January of 2239, it was decided that Horgan should be activated for field operations. After a series of successful and bloody missions ending in March of 2239, the Enclave created a modified version of their advanced power armor, specifically made to encapsulate Horrigan's bulk. From this point forward, however, Frank was married to the suit, unable to be separated from it as it continually pumped him full of drugs, acting as a life support. Frank Horrigan is a mutant, but in truth he'd been a monster long before his exposure to FEV in the military base, as he had many psychological problems. It's important to note that Horrigan never considered himself to be a mutant. Only Enclave scientists would have considered him one, but usually referred to him as an experiment. And even then, never to his face. Most soldiers considered Horrigan a walking nuke, something the tech boys built, and they were generally not truly aware of his status as a mutant. Most did still consider him a freak, however, and there were very few soldiers who wanted to accompany him on missions. Horrigan's extreme loyalty to the Presidency, the Enclave, and the Armed Forces was present before his exposure to the FEV, and was reinforced by Presidential Directive through various conditioning and testing programs developed by the Enclave. Horrigan's already low intelligence, further damaged by the FEV exposure, made these conditioning programs take root easily. Standing at over 12 feet tall, Horrigan is significantly taller and bulkier than a standard super mutant. His FEV mutation was further augmented with controlled injections of an experimental modified version of the FEV developed by the Enclave, resulting in Horrigan being a sort of next-gen super mutant. Stronger, faster, tougher, and just plain meaner. Additionally, a special suit of power armor was cybernetically grafted onto his body, transforming him into a walking death machine without peer. Cybernetic elements include bionic eyes, arm control mechanisms, and leg rotators. Although of generally low intelligence, Horrigan noticeably lacks the simple-minded, moronic mental deficiencies that commonly plague many super mutants. For example, Horrigan speaks in complete sentences, uses normal grammar and vocabulary, and generally lacks any obvious signs of mental deficiency. Horrigan most likely mimics the speech and mannerisms of his Enclave creators and propaganda programs he's heard. Horrigan was eventually defeated in 2242 by a tribal known as the Chosen One. Despite being literally torn in half at the waist, Horrigan was able to gather enough strength for some final words. After this, the Chosen One triggered a reactor meltdown on the Enclave oil rig where they had defeated Horrigan. This resulted in the destruction of not only the oil rig, but any and all traces of Frank Horrigan. <laughs> the work will go on. You didn't do nothing here except seal your own death warrants. Duty. Honor, courage, semper fi.